14th of February is a day set aside the world over to celebrate love. The concept of love means different things to different people. To the beautiful ones, it's a special day that they are courted and celebrated, while to others, it's a day and occasion when the embers of thine love are rekindled. But does anyone remember the physically challenged? One billion people, or 15% of the world's population, experience some form of disability, and disability prevalence is higher for developing countries. One fifth of the estimated global total, or between 110 and 190 million people experience significant disabilities. Against this background, Honorable Temitokwe Olatoye Sugar, founder of Olatoye Sugar Foundation, OSF, gathered as many physically challenged persons across the 33 local government area of Oyo State on the special day at BCOS Playground to celebrate with them and make them experience what most of them described as love. The Honorable Minister of Health, Professor Isaac Adewale, the former Speaker of your State House of Assembly, and now Senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Monsurat Sumon, Honorable Member of the House of Representatives, Engineer Adam Mohammed, Chief Imam of Ibadan Land, Alahaji Agbotomo Kekere, the Methodist Archbishop of Ibadan, Most Reverend Ayo Ladibolu. Prince Paul Adelabu, Professor Olawale Moronkola, the chairman of the event, Chief Ola Lekon Hassan Alabi, and many other eminent personalities raised the occasion with their distinguished presence. Uga has been assistant for almost nine years. Um, we don't have a specific date for it, but it was uh, 2014. I'm written, I know to, my dad is here, okay, I so, I can see, so, I want to be a big guy, I want to be a big guy, I want to be a big guy, and that is why we have chosen to be a big two of every year, and this is 2016 so, edition. When I dispose my hand like this, it is a grace of God that I have these hands. And it's working for me in my life. And therefore, if you are legging this form, display it. Don't hide it. If you are sitting on a wheelchair, don't hide it. Once again and closely, I welcome you all. God bless you as you Speaking at the occasion, Chief Lekon Alabi owes all the privilege to always assist the less privileged and not to abandon our responsibilities and duties of brotherliness to the government. Oui individuals should not leave it to government government agencies uh, foreign donors to make life comfortable for the disabled he congratulated honorable olatoye and his foundation for sustaining the laudable practice for the show of love and wiping off tears off the cheek of many for the past nine years he called on all other members of the House of Representatives to emulate Honorable Sugar, whom he described as one filled with the milk of human kindness and ever ready to better the lot of the downtrodden. These things should be multiplied in 359 places like this and help the less privileged. Professor Olawale Moronkala in his presentation titled Understanding Disability Development in Nigeria, 
commended Honorable Sugar for being a politician with a difference, who is committed to the service of humanity, particularly the fiscally challenged. I congratulate you for being a different class of politician as you reach out almost every time to people who voted you into office and others especially in loyalty. In as much as you continue to do this, I hear fear of God. God will continue to lift you up steadily in politics and in your service to humanity. He called on the public not to laugh and discriminate against them. Rather, they should embrace them and be more concerned about improving their situation. It is important for me to say we should not discriminate, stigmatize people with disability. Parents having children who are living with disability must not throw them away, put them on the streets, hide them, lock them in at home, but find a way to educate them, learn a trade and be proud of them. Most of them are well endowed and if well cared for, can contribute their own quota to community and national development. Responding on behalf of the fiscally challenged present at the event, a visually impaired Mr. Oladejo Oluwa Shegun expressed their profound gratitude to Honorable Sugar for his philanthropic gestures and requested that he salvage the discrimination and non-inclusion of fiscally challenged in governance. He was told that the bill to that effect will be passed soonest. The bill is mainly for the uh, uh, mainly of provision for living with disability. So as they have to have equal rights with all the, or everybody that has able. So because each of the children are already in Nigeria, whenever I want to do everything, to say the same thing, cannot become a local government chairman, become the representative of the people. And even though some are not the child, they are not disabled mentally. So they can write, they can flow, they have gone through stages of education to the extent of having a master's degree. So they have to represent the rights and In his vote of thanks, Honorable Temi Tokwe thanked all who made this year's edition a huge success, especially those who have come to identify with the foundation which has assumed an international status. God has sent me to my people for long. That's not just started. We have been doing it for long, but we formalized it about nine years ago. And this is the next edition. I have been trying not only to empower them with money or to give them money. If you give them money, they will spend it. And the second day of learning, we will be following and active or not. Or you try to establish them. When you establish them, they will be at their work and they will be representing the interests of disabled and whatever very well. And they will not continue to be following people in the party and disturbing the peace of the city. He reiterated that the less privileged must always be the priority and focal point of all. Churches must, whether you are Muslim or whatever you, who, whatever you are, as individual, if it's just a piece of cloth, it's a piece of chew or whatever you have, give to the less privileged. Don't let them think otherwise. Don't let them feel inferior. Let them feel among. Some highlights of the program included the presentation of award to dignitaries, among whom was the Honorable Minister of Health, Professor Isaac Adewale. As well as the presentation of a car gift to Miss Oyo State. Lastly, presentation of various empowerment kits ranging from wheelchairs, artificial legs, refrigerators, food items, 
beddings and household appliances were presented. Surely, there can't be a better way to celebrate the Valentine's Day.